Yo, what's up YouTube? Hope you're doing well today. And today's video is gonna be about 10 things which you can do in Tarkov if you're bored. Because recently, um, people just stopped playing Tarkov. I see lots of streamers complaining on Twitter, including me, because uh, there aren't that many players and people are kind of burnt out. So let me give you a couple of things which you can do if you're bored but you still want to play the game. So first of all, one of my favorites is uh, gambling with Sturman's stash on Woods. You can get his key for roughly 200k on the flea market, and it's a one-use key. You get to his stash, you open it, you might win, you might lose, you might get something good, you might find a red rebel or a valid key card or something, or you might find nothing at all, and it's kind of fun, it's like, it's, it's like usual gamble, you know? Second thing which I can advise you on doing is sniping rogues on Lighthouse. If you still haven't done it, get a sniper. I personally really like using DVLs and M700s, because uh, first of all, they're not too expensive, and secondly, you can use M62 bullet, which has a really low drop at distance. And uh, even if you're zeroed at 50 meters, you can still shoot rogues which are 100 or 120 meters away without changing the zeroing on your uh, rifle. So yeah, go on and uh, snipe rogues on the lighthouse. Third thing is uh, reserve the two raiders. Recently, well, a month ago, Ish BSG buffed the spawn chance of raiders in D2 area. So right now if you go in there, they might spawn there uh, at the beginning of the raid. And also there is another chance to spawn them when you activate the power. So playing around that area is really fun, because first of all you will get PvP as people try to push for uh, raiders. Secondly, you can farm XP, because raiders give you quite a bit of XP. And thirdly, you can get really good weapons, armors and nades from them. So shooting them for loot is also worth it. Next thing is playing with randoms in Discord. I know there are plenty of different Discord channels, but I can advise you to use uh, official Escape from Tarkov Discord channel. I think there is two of them, one Russian and one English. So go on and find it. And there are plenty of randoms playing in it. And it's kind of fun, you know, you can talk to people because everybody's from different places. You can talk to them about their like lifestyle and different things. And it's a, it's a pretty fun experience. It's like meeting a stranger, going uh, to a pub, uh, grabbing a beer. Aww. So yeah, if you haven't done it yet, uh, give it a try, maybe you're gonna love it. The next thing I'm gonna talk about is uh, leg meta with Pepper Shah. If you still haven't done that, grab that Pepper Shah, grab those 71 rounders, um, and go to factory and uh, just spray everybody's legs. Kind of fun, especially if you manage to get a super geared guy. Alright, next thing is making fully aesthetic kits. And I'm talking about, uh, for example, a 10 man. So you get a 10 armor, then you get a 10 top, beautiful pants, 10 helmet, 10 backpack, and then you assemble a gun, something like an M4 or M1A, which is fully 10. And I think it's kind of fun to use those, um, those gear sets, because first of all, you can flex uh, in front of your teammates. Oh, hey. And uh, also, even even if you die to somebody, I think when you, they see your full gear, they will realize that. And uh, I don't know, I, I just think that's, that's kind of fun, yeah. Next thing is cosplaying bosses on different maps. My favorite one is cosplaying Tequila on Factory, because uh, first of all, Factory is a very fast-paced map. You can spawn and you can instantly fight players. And some of them are getting shocked when they, she when, when they see people running to Gila's gear, and some of them even get talk because they think you're actually the boss. So yeah, if you haven't tried it yet, please do. Next thing is Pistol to Hero. I know plenty of shimmers do it, and uh, it's really fun to watch. And you should try it yourself, even though it's kind of difficult to get a pistol, kill somebody, get their gear, kill the rest of the map. But once you do it, the experience is totally unforgettable. Another thing worth mentioning is uh, teaming up with players using VoIP. I've been betrayed many times, I think maybe half or like two out of three times. But the rates when you actually team up with someone and you work together to achieve the goal, for example, helping each other to do the quest or find a specific item, I think this is a really unique Tarkov exp experience which everybody should go through. Dude, do you want to surrender? Yes. All right, take your knife out. I'm not gonna kill you. You can take your buddy's gear. 
If they're next to stairs, we... I think those are raiders. Yep, yep, raiders. Thanks, man. No worries, my pleasure. GG. GG's. And last but not least, try to use the new extractions uh, on the maps, the ones which you typically don't use, and check the nearby areas. Because for example, on customs, when I play, I usually use either uber extraction or the extractions on the other side of the maps. And uh, I tend to ignore, is it uh, B13 extraction or something, the one which you need to activate the power for. And typically, when I do check it, I find some players, sometimes I find Rishala. Um, and yeah, I feel like it brings a new experience to the player which hasn't been to the area. Uh, it, it, it's tough to explain it, because um, you have to experience it yourself. And my advice is spend some time learning new areas, trying to find some PvP, get some items, because um, I think it's worth it. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. Maybe I gave you a couple of ideas which you're gonna, uh, which you're gonna use to make your gameplay more fun. And uh, yeah, please give this video a thumbs up and sub to my channel if you still haven't. I would really appreciate that. Because subbing to my channel will make sure you won't miss on any of the content. And when you give it a thumbs up, it helps with YouTube algorithms. So yeah, thank you and I'll see you in the next one.